Hey, hey, hey. Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets where we are working on financial security for our beautiful family and trying to get ourselves out of consumer debt. Um, so it's Sunday. It is a miserable Sunday in Melbourne. It is absolutely bucketing down with rain or it has been all morning. It's kind of slowed down a little bit now. So I'm hoping um, we won't get too much noise from the roof. Um, so today we are going to do our cash unstuffing for the week, our weekly check-in and a budget with me for the first week of July. Uh, you guys, it's July tomorrow. I'm not sure how that's happened. I really don't know. <laughs> um, nonetheless, it is. I'm excited for July. We should have some um <clears throat> we should have some influx of money coming in in July with tax returns and oh lord let's please guys all pray for me that it is a tax return this year and that we don't owe tax again because I will cry if we get another tax bill um but we definitely have um we definitely have some money coming in uh, from our government benefits, which is nice. We get like a, because of the way I structure our payments through the year, that settles at the end of the financial year. And then we get like a um, kind of a bonus payment, which is really, really nice. Um, so uh, that won't be coming in this week. That'll be next week. So next week's budget with me is going to be a big one. Um, so let's get to unstuffing. First things first, everything is coming out of medical. <laughs> everything. Uh, so we had 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars in there. And you will see in my budget with me that we are still going to put money aside for medical that we aren't cash stuffing to cover what I've spent in the last week. So um, I had to go back to my regular GP and she charged me for a long appointment, um, which in my opinion was ridiculous. Um, because it was a follow-up appointment for the same issue. Also, I was in there for all of 20 minutes. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was 155. We get 80 back from Medicare. And then I went to a different GP and I booked a long appointment with him because I wanted a second opinion. Obviously, he doesn't have my medical history, so I had to go over everything with him. Um, and yeah, he actually only charged 110 for a long appointment and I got the $80 back. So, um yeah, and then there was still residual <laughs> money owed from the week before that too. So, uh, is anything coming? No, nothing's coming out of there. Uh, the other one we are unstuffing is this one. Um, this will be the last time that you see my binders like this. Uh, okay, so we're taking 15 uh, out of gifts. So, if we take out 25, we'll put that $10 back uh, because my daughter going to yet another birthday party you guys I can't believe it um like it's great it's awesome she loves it she has so much fun and it's so nice that she has so many friends but who oh, my lord give me strength like it's just so many birthday presents I guess I can't keep money in here uh and 20 dollars out of family fun because I um went and bought some stuff just for the kids to play with over the holidays. So our school holidays started on Friday. Um, so I just went and bought some, oh gosh, it was like Diamante stickers and um, a couple of beading kits just from Kmart. Um, so they were pretty cheap, but that'll keep them busy. At least my girls, or at least my youngest, busy for a little bit. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, th I think, I hope, if I can get things sorted and I can finish up, because I have been making some different envelopes for myself but obviously i have to prioritize the orders that i have so um if i can get myself organized enough this will be the last time you see these binders like this although they will be like this for many mondays but you won't really see them then hopefully by wednesday i will be organized enough uh nearly every one of them nearly all of them are changing i think these ones are staying more or less the same uh and we'll have a new binder one new binder, two new binders, three new binders. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 105 dollars going back to the bank from our unstuffing this week. So I'm gonna leave that over to the side. 
And then, oh, I've my itchy nose. And then, um, let's do our weekly check-in. Um, it's ugly again, <laughs> going into July. Uh, but I have plans, you guys. I have plans in July to get on top of this <clears throat> and get it sorted. So, um, for groceries, we started with 130. That was on that gift card that I talked about. Um, we didn't add anything in, which turned out to be a mistake because we spent 352. We've done a lot of top-up shops this week, and I tend to find that when hubby's in charge of going to do a top-up shop, um, little extras are bought. And it adds up very, very quickly. Sorry, my dogs are just barking. Uh, so we are over 222 in groceries. In takeout, we added 38 to cover off this. So last week um, in my budget, I added $29. But then I also took that money out of Buffer as well. And that helped to cover some of that spending. Um, we didn't add... Did we add anything? No... Uh, Sorry, do we take out anything? We did take out anything. We have done, we've, we've kind of used our, we've used up our takeaway money for next week already um, because we had my brother-in-law over and we decided to get fish and chips because that was fun and <laughs> it was yummy. So that will be covered and you'll see that in today's budget, which means that we won't be able to have takeout for next week because we've already used that, uh, which is fine. That was a choice. Uh, so we put 15 into petrol, we haven't spent anything, so there's $3 sitting in there. And then chemist is the same as takeout. So I think it definitely wasn't 87. I think, where was last week's budget? No, it's not that one. Let me turn the page. <clears throat> Guys, I'm a bit... <laughs> I'm a bit... What? Where is that? Didn't I put extra in? Oh my God, because I'm looking at May. Oh, you guys. Oh dear. Lisa, I'm very sorry. It has been a very long morning. I had, I had a birthday party this morning um, for my daughter and I'm exhausted, to be honest. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of standing. Uh, yeah, so we put 55 into Chemist, um, but I had overspent more than that. So the rest of what I took out of Buffer um, covered that off for me. So we didn't spend anything else though this week and we're left with nothing, but I have got spending to do, which again, you will see. Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. I really feel like I'm all over the place. Um, you will see in this in this budget. I don't know what my dog's barking at. Um, I'll just zoom this in a little bit more so that you can see <clears throat> what we're doing. So, oh guys, look, I got a new calculator. It's so fun. It's all, it's all clicky clacky. I don't, it's going to take some getting used to because the buttons have to be pushed fairly firmly. <laughs> Who gets excited over calculators? Yes, me, I do. Okay, so the income we are dealing with this week is 1,985. I feel like I was in the middle of a thought before I didn't finish it, so... Sorry if I started saying something and then I did, <laughs> and then I didn't finish it. Um, so we've got one thousand nine hundred and eighty-five. That's after I've already pulled out for our rent. Um, we're putting aside five dollars for Apple iCloud and one hundred and sixty-five dollars in swimming. So for. <laughs> I haven't done my budget calendar yet. Uh, I don't know. Did I do? Nope. <clears throat> uh, it's a bit messy. Anyway, so I I know that swimming. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I've got a frog in my throat. I know that for swimming, it comes out on the, well, it used to be the third Thursday of the month and they've just changed it to whichever Thursday is closest to the middle of the month, which is very very annoying because it makes it very unpredictable um but anyway i know i've got a couple of pays before it's due to come out so i've split it in half um this month because i just it was gonna be too complicated for me to try and cover it with one paycheck it meant other things were going to miss out um and because i like to try and cash stuff the same amount each week 
um, into my like must stuff envelopes. So like water, gas, electricity, things like that. Um, I like to try and keep that amount the same so that I can, it's easier for me to keep on track of um, what's in there and what I'm, what I should be stuffing. I hope, I'm not sure if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, so for this month I've split, I normally I would do swimming as one transaction, but I've split it in half. I've also split it in half because it's July and in July, um, that triggers a reassessment for child support and I never know what's going to happen with that payment. Uh, it's yeah, it's always a bit of a scary time in July. Um, because what happens with that is unpredictable. Um, so I would often take this money, this payment out of that bigger paycheck when that comes in, but I want all of our essentials to be coming out of our predictable income this month until I know what's happening with that moving forward. So, um, yeah, so that's 170 in our fixed and we have 1,800 <clears throat> and fifteen dollars left over now groceries we're trying to get in front of this constantly um having to pay back our previous week's spending so grocery this week is getting 800 all of my grocery figures for this month will be inflated because i want to get in front of that issue i want to work out exactly what we are spending so that i don't feel like we're constantly chasing our tail and this is what i went in my video the other day Sorry, you guys, I'm getting really breathless for some reason. Um, that's what I meant in my video the other day when I was saying that it's about adjusting it as you go. Um, so I have given it a few months. I have tried to adjust our food spending to come in line with what I want the budget to be. That's not working. So if I can't make it work, then there's no point continuing to try to make those adjustments. It's obviously not working. So then the adjustment has to be in the budget right so i don't want to keep budgeting that money elsewhere and then have to keep pulling it back to cover the grocery overspending that we've done so i'd rather just cover the groceries and then um you know do what we can with what we have left i'm fine with that i mean ideally do i wish we were spending 400 plus dollars a week on average absolutely not um, however, I do also have to face the reality that I have three kids in the house, two hungry teenagers. Um, so, and that we do buy some specialty foods because of, um, my issues and we buy supplements for my, my youngest daughter, cause she's a really fussy eater that comes under our grocery budget. Most of the time, my hair products also come under our grocery budget. So it's not a regular grocery budget. I, there are a lot of other things that sneak into there that really probably shouldn't be in there. Um, but I don't want to have to separate them out. That feels like more work than it's worth just so that I have the exact figure that we're spending on food. I would rather just accept that, okay, that's what we're spending and that's what that needs to look like. So that's why I like things like my hair envelope doesn't get as much money because really that's being folded into here. Um, so takeaway is getting 125 and that's to cover what we've already spent petrol is getting 95 and we've already got three in there um chemist is getting a big boost we're putting 105 in there that's because i have just realized i need to do a bulk order of supplements from iherb uh so my oldest daughter is on uh she takes melatonin to help her sleep uh, she's also on a zinc and elderberry stuff and that helps her skin. So I usually order from iHerb for those. However, they have a minimum spend for free postage. Oh, my voice is going. Give me a sec, guys. Okay. Um, they have a, this is whatever this next thing is. It's still interfering with my voice. Um, they have a minimum spend for free postage with iHerb. I think it's like $80. So what I tend to do is order a bulk lot every six or so months so that I get free postage. I don't want to be paying 15 or 18, I think it's usually 18 or $20 postage, um, when that could buy me, you know, like one or two more bottles of what I'm getting. Um, I'd rather just buy the bulk, get the free postage, and then it lasts a bit longer. So, but we are due for that order, so that's why that is so high. I am going to do an envelope for medications and supplements because it has occurred to me that I am simply not putting enough away. Um, 
like each doing it each fortnight we're spending we're going through all of that money and then when it comes to the six months where I need to restock all of my stuff and stuff for my daughter and so I don't have the money sitting there so that's why I'm going to give it an envelope uh spending is getting 45 I think like 40 of that's for hubby five of that's for me <laughs> um now phone is coming in here with ten dollars and that is because when I cash condensed the other day um one of my lovely commenters hello and thank you pointed out that I miscounted my phone envelope and I counted it as a hundred dollars and it was actually 90 so I put a hundred dollar placeholder in there and it should actually only be 90 dollars so in this week's cash stuffing I would normally cash 30 I'm only going to cash stuff 20 and the other 10 is just going straight into the bank account for it um so that, that's all accurate and then medical is getting 50 but this is all already spent <clears throat> so that I'm not cash stuffing it and it's just going straight into here so that is 1230 oh the sun's just come out that's so nice so we have 585 left over and then our sinking funds so cash envelopes um they're going to be a little bit skinny this week they are going to get uh what are they going to get 270 it's a bit slim this week and then mini mondays is going to get 30 dollars. i was hoping to make that 40 but it's just not going to happen this week because i had to cover all of that overspending and because we've put that extra money into groceries as well and we we're overspent on takeaway so um so then that leaves us with 285 and that is our visa card payment for this month and that is this week's zero based budget um so next week it should be a significantly higher budget um we'll have a lot more money to play with i will definitely be splitting out this week i'll do a combined um cash stuffing and savings challenge video next week i'll split it out because i should have a lot of money to go into um to go into savings challenges hopefully maybe we'll even get some finished and that would be so exciting because i'm really looking forward to Splitting that money back, like reallocating it. Um, okay, so our buffer this week, uh, despite all the spending we've done, we've obviously done a lot of it on the credit card and then paid it back, which is something I also don't want to do anymore. Um, we have 289 only in our buffer, so let's work out where this can go. Okay, we're definitely getting here with this one. I'm really looking forward to this one being done too and then I can just transfer that. This is currently sitting in its own little saver account. Um, so I'll be excited to transfer that out into, um, into our like, oh my goodness, what, like into our main account so that it forms part of that buffer. I am so sorry today has been a little bit all over the shop, you guys. I am dead set, so tired. <laughs> From this morning's birthday party it really having to stand up for long periods of time really takes it out of me so um but thank you so much for joining me i hope all of that made sense please feel free to ask questions i think the unfinished thought that i had before is that i am considering um creating some sheets for a budget planner um and using them instead of this just so that i don't have to draw up my weekly tally all the time and i'm not really utilizing this to its full potential uh because it's brilliant and i love it but it's it's not quite tailored to this kind of system um but well we will see i do have a habit of getting ahead of myself in terms of things that i want to create and produce and there are only so many hours in the day and only so much energy in my bank so <laughs> um join me tomorrow for mini mondays if you um yeah, if you enjoy watching savings games and challenges and having a bit of fun, we will be doing that as normal tomorrow. And then we'll do cash stuffing on Wednesday. Um, and hopefully on Wednesday it'll be uh, as a new setup, which will be really, really exciting. Um, yeah, just it's just it's like I said, just working out um, 
how the system's working for me and all that kind of thing means that there are a few tweaks that I want to make up. Some things will be staying more or less exactly the same. Some things will be changing dramatically. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have had a beautiful weekend. I hope you have a lovely, lovely week. I hope the weather improves if your weather is as miserable as ours has been today. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.